Okay, um, in the last video, we were trying to find the volume integral for the surface bounded by x, the equation x plus y plus z equals a, and we had boundary points where x was 0, y was 0, and z was 0, and we sketched the figure out, and then from there we went through the process of taking imaginary volume slices out, and then constructing our volume integral, which came out to be like this, with these limits on it, and now we have to evaluate the integral. And one thing about these double and triple integral problems, there's a lot of steps involved, so we just have to kind of be careful and see if we can um, pick our way through it without making any mistakes. And as always, we start with the innermost integral first. But let's just take this to the outside. Oh yes, when we're writing the volume integral out, like this would be the z integral, this would be the y integral, this would be the x integral. Um, I always like to write it saying z goes from where to where. Remind ourselves that this is the z integral. And likewise, y goes from where to what point. To, be, to remind ourselves, this is supposed to be the, the y integral. And same thing here uh, when we're evaluating with respect to x. Okay, let's take this integral out. z goes from 0 to a minus x minus y dz, pretty simple. This is going to be z. z goes from 0 to a minus x minus y. So this would just equal a minus x minus y. That's what that integral came out to be. Once we did the integration and applied the limits, so we'll take this expression and replace that here. And that will leave us with this double integral now. A minus x minus y dy dx. Y goes from 0 to y equals a minus x x goes from 0 to x equals a. Now we have a double integral that we have to contend with. And again, we start with the innermost one. And let's take it to the outside. So we're going to have this integral a minus x minus y dy y goes from 0 to a minus x. And here we have one of these mixed variable situations. We're integrating with respect to y. We have a variable x in here. At this stage of the game, we just treat the x as if it's a constant. And we go along and do our integration. So this is just going to be a y minus x times y uh, minus one half y squared y goes from zero to a minus x so this will equal a times a minus x minus x times a minus x minus one half y squared minus one half a minus x quantity squared. So even though our integrals um, so far have been pretty simple to deal with, again because we're dealing with multiple integrals, we end up with a lot of terms here that we have to deal with. And let's see, but this expression here is this integral once you perform the integration and apply the limits. So this expression would replace this, and before we do that, let's look at some of this algebra here. Uh, we have a squared minus ax 
minus ax plus x squared and here we're going to have minus one half times a squared minus two ax plus x squared okay multiply this through we'll have minus one half a squared and this would be plus ax minus one half x squared okay let's collect terms what do we have a squared minus one half a squared that is one half a squared minus two ax whoops plus one that's plus ax and then we have x squared minus one half x squared that's plus one half x squared so this is this integral evaluated with the limit supply so this is going to replace this leaving us finally with v equals the integral x goes from 0 to a of 1 half a squared plus ax plus 1 half x squared dx and let's see this will give us uh, 1 half ax squared it looks like for a squared x this will be um, 1 half x squared times a so this would be minus 1 half a x squared and this is 1 half here so this would be 1 third x cubed times 1 half that would be plus 1 six x cubed x goes from 0 to a okay so this will leave us with one half a cubed minus a times x squared x squared is a it's minus one half a cubed plus one sixth a cubed looks like these are going to cancel so there finally is our volume one sixth a cubed uh, so again it was not a difficult integral uh, to evaluate but there are a lot of many steps involved so when you're doing these integrals um, take your time work through them check your work along the way and hopefully you won't have any problems um, come back and join us in another video and we'll try to work some more problems